I am actually such a mess right now. I have no idea where we're gonna stay at. Oh my god, am I gonna be okay? I am stressed. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Helen if you're new here and if you're not new here, well, we bought last minute tickets to go to UK, London, and we are never coming back. No, just kidding. I'm really stressed right now because I broke two of my glasses, the zipper on my suitcase broke, I have to go to my boyfriend's mom's place to celebrate Christmas, and I need to go pick up my mom at 7 o'clock. This is all within an hour. And so I'm doing this intro super, super fast. So yes, we're going to London, UK, but there's a lot of things happening right now. So we're gonna go figure out what the hell I am doing. So I didn't pack much because we're only there for six days, but this is my luggage and the zipper over here just completely broke. I'm not super stressed about that area because that area actually expands and collapses the luggage. But last time when I was on the flight, they actually made me put my luggage in like this little silver container because it looked big. And there's no way to fix it at the moment. Y'all, if I'm talking too fast, it's because I am stressed. I'm gonna see some friends in London, so I prepared just some like Canadian stockings for them. I know it's like not much, but I didn't have time to get anything else. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but this part doesn't close anymore. And that's why I'm scared that I might fail the size test. <laughs> Let's just pray and hope that the universe is on my side today. This is probably the most stressful vlog that I have ever done in my entire life. But we're gonna go eat dinner and then head to my mom's place to pick her up and then go to the airport right after. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Dyson hair wrap, but it's um not Dyson. Yeah, I hope you like it. I just got to my mom's place and we need to leave. Mom, we gotta go. Okay. No, yeah? It got, it got extended to 11.45. How do you know? Um, they just got the message. Oh. You might have exactly four hours yeah. to get here. Oh. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11.45. Yeah. <laughs> we are heading out now. Our flight got delayed by 30 minutes, so it's actually at 11.45 instead of 11.15. I don't know if I should be happy or sad because I was kind of stressed on time. All right, let's go. We're here at the airport and my mom's literally laughing at me because I'm vlogging. <laughs> we just checked in. We're just gonna drop this luggage at the baggage drop-off area and head into our gate. Also, I just said bye to Thomas and I'm gonna miss him so, so much. There's so many people at the airport right now. If you're traveling during the holiday season, this is what you're gonna see. Update on the luggage, it actually made it through. They didn't really make me check how big the bag was. I need a drink after all that stress. Whoa, wow. Three drinks for $15. Mom was actually so upset that I got a cold drink. You? Yeah, she told me off. We're gonna be departing at 11.45 and arriving in London at 11.45 a.m. But we didn't book any hotels. So when we go to London, we actually have to figure out where we're staying because everything is last minute and everything is so spontaneous. So we're gonna be doing this together. Our flight got delayed. 12.55 now, so that's an hour later. We arrived on our flight and I'm gonna take the biggest nap. Apparently we got another delay. Did it get delayed until 1.45? 1.45, yeah. And what time is it now? 12.30. 12.30. Arrived in London and we've been waiting for our bags for about an hour already. Coming from experience so far, do not travel on a Christmas. The flight itself was seven hours and I slept for a good six and a half hours. They served us breakfast this morning, which was like yogurt. Also for the hotel, we booked it literally last minute. Everything is more expensive because of Christmas. Currently waiting for our luggage, but I'll meet you at the hotel. So it took 40 minutes to get from the airport to the hotel. And thank God that we have a place to stay in, a place to sleep in tonight. What I realized is that the steering 
wheel is actually on the right hand side everything is the opposite from toronto the luggage took way too long it took two hours but we're extremely hungry a cookie exchange for a $700 hotel room We took a walk outside and nothing ended up being open And now we're eating dinner at the hotel It's buffet style So we just grab and we just eat Morning Good morning! I slept about two and a half hours and then I just couldn't sleep anymore I do feel a little bit tired but we are gonna be heading out right now to one of the most popular streets in London everything about this trip is super spontaneous so we don't really have much planned we're just gonna go with the flow let's go life is good best I've ever felt what a day. The weather was beautiful. I thought that it always rains in London. Today, I went to shop a lot. I ended up buying a really cute sweater for Thomas and my brother got a really cute vest. The downtown part of London reminds me of New York. It kind of like gave me a little deja vu, but it's prettier than New York and the subways are way cleaner than New York as well. The only thing that I would say is that they're really fast paced here in London. Like if you stop in the middle of the sidewalk, they will give you a look and they'll be like, why are you stopping? I know in London, they are huge on Harry Potter and I got myself a scarf and I am literally really is so obsessed with it it makes me look 10 years younger okay maybe not 10 years maybe five years but someone asked for my id today and i was like here you go even they ask your mommy's id what even they ask your mommy's id oh oh mommy looks young <laughs> also chinatown and london made my jaw drop as well everything was actually huge and there was casinos everywhere also legal age to go drinking or to go in casinos clubs bars is 18 so that's good to know for dinner we had chinese food and it was actually really delicious and this little boy kept on staring at me and it was kind of cute <laughs> after we went to convict garden it was so beautiful there it was so amazing it was so nice i would go again and there was a market there was performers and last but not least we had to go visit the famous oxford street that we've been seeing all over tiktok and we even got some really cute footage of myself and my mom I'm gonna play that right now i found my way i found my way I was in the dark against it all yeah. Overall, today was amazing, even though I felt a little tired throughout the day Regained my energy through food So we're actually checking out from our yeah, hotel tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> So we're actually checking out from our hotel tomorrow So we're actually checking out from our hotel tomorrow So we're actually checking out from our hotel tomorrow <laughs> That's me <laughs> So we are actually checking out from our hotel tomorrow morning, but we don't have a hotel for tomorrow I have no idea where we're gonna stay at. It's a little stressful. I'm not gonna lie But we are gonna figure this out because we're in it together. I hope Good morning Okay, no breakfast today So what happened was I actually went to the breakfast area and I told them oh table for one the guy told me that there was no more breakfast available also i pre-booked my breakfast so everything was already paid and so i asked him oh do you have any sort of toast in the kitchen any sort of like bread no nothing at all she might have told every guest but i didn't i wasn't notified of that i know it's not your fault because you didn't check us yeah, in yes yeah Okay, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. The thing is that I was willing to pay the $20 just for a piece of bread. Y'all, don't mind me ranting. I'm just hangry. That's here. Why? I think how what was Aw, thanks, Mom. She's done. It's just something super, super light today. I literally have everything in a little Shein bag. To our second hotel that we booked a super last minute and it's actually not that bad it's very small there's no windows let me take you on a little tour after you enter this is how our room looks like this is gonna be my brother's bed over here and this is gonna be where me and my mom will sleep there's coat racks over on this side the sink oh hello and on this side there is a shower and then the toilet so if anybody takes a shit we're screwed this hotel was actually not that cheap it was about $300, almost $400. All right, Tony, how do you feel about this room? It's not too bad. It's a very small, <laughs> very, very small. So we just finished eating shawarma and we met up with one of my friends who I met on Clubhouse. 
This is Martin. Hi, Martin. He's taking us around. He's our tour guide for the day. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> I would have got lost because the building is huge with multiple floors. We made it to somewhere really, really cool. What's this place called again? Um, Altima. This is the Altima. What he said. I highly recommend checking this out because it's free. Duh. Okay, but it was actually really, really cool. But we were so hungry, we went to go eat food after and we got some Thai food. However, we ate so much that we needed to walk it off. So we explored the area a little bit more. Another day, another chaos. I feel like every single day in London, it's always been playing with my emotions. This is what happens when you book a spontaneous trip! I have some semi bad news. So originally, I was gonna bring my mom to London Eye, a cruise with afternoon tea, and a theater show. However, it all got cancelled. Or the person who booked it for me actually booked it too late. I told you a week in advance, why didn't you book it for me, etc, etc, etc! Mother Nature is always crying here in London. It's always rainy. Snake shark? Mother, Mother Nature. Nature. Are you talking about me? No, Mother's like mo Mother Nature. The rain, I sun, know, cloudy. I know, I did joking. Joking, I'm stupid. My sugar mommy. This is one of my favorite stores here in London, and it's not called Nice. That's what I learned today. It's called Niche. We've been saying nice, 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 nice all this time. I later went to a really cool bar called The Sketch. Another day in London. We are going to high tea immediately. We are literally packing right now, but we are going to be heading to our hotel now. Our room wasn't ready, so we left our baggage with the hotel. In order to go inside the restaurant to the afternoon tea, we had to go through pretty strict security measures. We made it to the location at the afternoon tea. This is the 31st floor, and I think it's one of the tallest buildings here in London. I'm so excited. They brought us out a huge pirate boat with a dry ice. This better be worth some dollars per person. Truthfully speaking, if you want to come here, go for the experience, but not for the food. We also booked the boat tour for us to go to. Uh, this is the new Palace of Westminster, uh, more commonly known as our Houses of Parliament. What a day. Today we actually did so much, including checking into our new hotel. Alright, so room tour, we have our queen size bed, but we're gonna add another bed. The TV, coffee, what's in here? Oh, refreshments. And the washroom is probably my favorite part. I'm gonna take you in here. Now this looks freaking amazing. The shower, it's so clean, so modern. Wow. They also have some supplies for us. I'm gonna call it a night and see you tomorrow. It is a few last day here in London. Part of me is so sad because London is growing on me. It's so beautiful here and so rainy. We're currently at a department store and I was finally able to find some tea. Literally, I have never seen anything like this. And I have cash as well. This one is this? Yeah. 21, not 30. The cake looks way too pretty, so I had to get one. getting lost. This is way too big. I'm back at the hotel and I'm scrambling to get ready because it is time to meet some of my friends that I have known for quite a while online. I am actually such a mess right now. Like, where's my hairbrush? We are going to be going to a local bar at the moment and we are, where is my hairbrush? I will be meeting them in a local bar and I'm going to be gone for basically the whole night. Live your life within the moment, moment, and don't go in my name. You never know. Thank you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Helen. Helen, oh my god, it's Helen. Oh my god. So let us dance this side away. Very last day. My hair. Keep on going this way, I have no idea why. I'm finally taking it all in and realizing that it's actually time to go. We gotta get packing and we gotta get out of here. Oh, gee, no.
funny story. So they actually confiscated my sunscreen. Apparently my sunscreen had something that was very similar to an explosive item. Oh my god! Am I gonna be okay? Okay, I'm just so shocked. This has never happened to me before. It activated the thing, so I have to... Um, Confiscate it. Yeah. I was thinking of just ignoring it, but I can't. Because oh no, 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 you're doing your job, that's yeah. fine. I'm just shocked. Like, I put that on my face this morning. I still cannot believe that I went to London, UK. We're waiting for baggage at the moment. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment down below which part was your favorite, and like this video for more videos in the future. In the meantime, have a great 2023, and I'll catch you next time. Bye! What's your favorite part? Favorite part? Going to the mall, probably. Really? How was your London trip? Uh, it was great. It was so I much like fun? It. You yes. like it? And that's a wrap!